Hi, how are you? My name is Anne Mugo from the Farm Gang, and today I'm here to, to talk about soil testing. Did you know that most challenges that farmers face is because they do not do soil testing? Yeah, it is true. When you're doing soil, what is soil testing? Soil testing is basically knowing what is in your soil, what nutrients are in your soil, what pathogens are in your soil. Is there bacteria? Is there bad nematodes? Are there viruses? Are there viruses in the soil? You need to do your soil testing to know. And you also know how the pH of your soil. Is it alkaline? Is it acidic? Depending on whatever on the crop you want to grow, whether strawberry, whether capsicum, whether onions, watermelons, any crop that you grow, please first do a soil test so that you also know the pH of your soil and how you're going to correct it depending on the crop that you want to grow. Today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step procedure of doing soil testing. I'm going to show you how to take a good soil sample. Then I'm going to come with you, are going to come with me. I'm going to take my sample to Calro and then we are going to fill a form, pay. I'm going to tell you how much I paid for a soil sample and I'm going to give you recommendations and why I chose Calro as my preferred choice of soil test. Come with me. Calro, and this is the form. I have already mentioned a thousand times that we are at Calro because they are affordable uh, to make our places in as a cell test. So that's why I came to Calro. So the sample record form, this is pathology. We say we are going to do two types, the pathology one and the nutrition one. So at the pathology, this is the form that you fill, name of grower. So it's like this, it's very simple and they help you to fill it in case you don't know. 
then you need and they, they'll help you fill and but this is how the form looks like it will take you less than two minutes to fill it and they'll help in case you're not able to yeah that's it thank you at Carlo Lab, the bacterial lab, who are gracious enough to allow me to see something in their lab. I have taken you through the lab okay, without details, but did you know they only charge 500 Kenyan shillings to do one sample test? Imagine, only 500. So don't be afraid because I think the major thing why people do not do soil testing is because they are afraid of the charges. And right now they have a call center where you can just go to their website and call and inquire in case your plants are wilting and you don't even understand why they are wilting, you can come with the plant and they do a test. So they do the major, for soil testing, they do major three testing. They test for bacterium, fusarium and nematodes. Nematodes is very important for you to test nematodes because they eat the plant and then now they give way for bacteria or the fusarium to destroy the plant. So for bacterium 500, for fusarium 500, for nematodes 500. So as little as 1500 will save you a whole loss, yeah? plant loss or a crop loss for the entire season. So to please visit Calro, call them, they have a call center now, or oh, things are working, you don't have to come, just call. Uh, they are here at Westlands, next to opposite ABC place, uh, before you get to the Kabete Maras, they are friendly, they are waiting for you, so you have no excuse. They are affordable and you wait for 10 working days and everything will be ready. So Karibu Sana and also another tip, your soil could be good but your water is not good. So if you have stagnant water from a dam, you're using uh, dam water to irrigate or borehole water to irrigate, please make sure you bring your water for testing because water is also a source of pathogen. Now you know, Karibu Sana, visit Calro, don't plant any crop, maize, beans, anything before you do soil test. Thank you. So guys, thank you for staying with me and going through uh, the journey of soil testing with me. And in conclusion, I want to remind you three key, uh, three important things that you need to label your soil sample properly when you take it for soil testing at your preferred uh, soil testing place so remember the name your name or the name of your farm so i chose the farm gun because it's the name of our farm your location and your phone number so that there is no mix up of your soil sample and so that you get the correct results to avoid the mix up so remember label your soil sample properly number two uh, it is also important that you keep doing soil testing regularly why because the soil ph changes so for example if you change your crop after maybe six months two years one year depending on the crop that you're doing always remember to do soil testing fresh the nutrients change there could be uh, the ph changes so do your soil testing regularly number three and the last point is why i chose calro to do my soil testing is because it's affordable soil testing is not expensive we had three soil samples and we divided them into two. So we had six soil samples. So from one soil sample, I divided into two. One, we did the pathogen test. Two, the second one, we did the nutrients test. So for the pathogen test, we paid a thousand for the soil testing. And the other one for the nutrition, we did uh, we paid a thousand for the nutrition test. For the pathogen test, it takes 10 days. 10 working days uh, for the soil to be 
ready or for the results to be ready. And for the nutrition te uh, test, it takes 15 working days for the results to be ready. I think the only downside to Calvo is that you have to wait longer. Uh, uh, the others, like Crocnut, you get your results faster, if I say. And every time you get your results, there are always recommendations. So when you take you when you take your cell sample, tell them what you want to grow, and they'll give you a recommendation. They'll give you a report with all this, and then they're going to give you a recommendation depending on how your soil is. So last tip is if you're growing strawberries, always look for the macronutrients that is NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and also macronutrients like calcium, magnesium, boron, zinc, iron, all those. So thank you, thank you for watching my video. Remember to like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell because I'll be giving you so many tips for free. And thank you, thank you for watching. Bye.